Alright, hey YouTube, so here's the tutorial on how to root your Verizon Note 3. Um, I've done it a couple times already, uh, just because I like to keep my phone fresh or sometimes I mess around with it. It's not bricked or anything, but I mess around with it to the point where I feel it's like a little loaded or it has extra files that I think I can do without on there. So I just erase everything at, every once in a while. So. I'm going to teach you how to put it on a stock Verizon firmware, but it allows you to root it. So it's a customized stock firmware that allows you to root it. Now here's the thing. You will be losing all your internal information, so anything you have on the phone's internal memory will be gone. Your SD card, however, you will be removing in the process, so that will not be affected. This also will not trip your Knox flag, so there won't be any uh, warranty issues with it. It does void your warranty, but there is a way for you to flash it back to complete stock, Verizon stock, and you can return it for any warranty purposes. So pretty much your phone will be exactly the same as it was before except for you will have root and it will just be a little bit modified so the root is allowed. Another thing is whenever you boot your phone you'll have a custom image on there but I will make another video on how to remove that if you really don't want that there. So let's get started with the root. We're gonna need a couple files from this website here and we can get started. Okay, so on the computer, um, you wanna make sure you have a couple files. I have already downloaded all, you can download it right here. I'll put the link in the description. Um, but it's a seven zip file. Uh, so you can unzip it with seven zip or WinRAR. And this is everything that's gonna be in it. The USB driver should be in it if I'm not mistaken. So install the USB drivers for your phone and that will allow for your phone and your computer to communicate. Then you're going to have this uh, tar file, which is the actual modified complete stock firmware. It is really big though. As you see, it's two gigabytes alone. So it's going to take a while for you to download. And then you're going to have your Odin, which is a program that we're going to use to flash the tar file to your phone with. And then you have your root files and your root de la vega.sh and these two files right here we're gonna copy onto your storage on your phone for you to complete the root process so it's gonna be install your drivers flash to stock from customized stock firmware and then perform the root afterwards alright so let's go ahead and get started install your USB drivers once you're done with that then open up Odin alright so the first thing you have to do is take out your SD card what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take out the SD card with the phone on there might be some th people that say that's bad or whatever but I haven't had any issues with it plus everything's stored on the cloud for me so take out your um, your SD card so it's out now what you want to do is you want to make sure and you turn it off so it's powering off and then we're gonna put it into ADB mode and what that mode is is it allows you for oh it's a flash mode so you're gonna be flashing into stock recovery and to do that you hold the volume down on here the home button and the power button at the same time so I do volume down hold it home hold it power hold it and then you you feel it vibrate and then you get this which is a warning message saying that you're in the flash mode go ahead and do volume up on your phone that'll continue and then you'll get this downloading mode and then plug in your cable you can see maybe um, my Knox kernel is at zero zero so it hasn't been triggered so it should be okay and that's with me doing it twice so then you see right here it popped up as a COM port leave all of these alone and then go to AP and then navigate over to where your tar file is and go ahead and open it and it's gonna start uploading now depending on your computer it might take a really long time and it might do this like it's doing on mine which is not responding so just give it a little while and it will catch up with itself and then we can continue okay so after like 30 seconds it finally caught up with itself and then it says it finished successfully and it left CS so now you're ready to flash so do the comp port and I'll show you my phone while it's going and you'll see a little blue bar pop up so let's go ahead and start it's analyzing and then there'll also be a green status bar here as well so you can either guide yourself by this blue bar or by that green bar to see where you are in status wise I'm gonna go ahead and pause this because it will take a while and I'll come back whenever it's done alright so my phone just started uh, rebooting itself because uh, it 
done with the flashing process. As you see on the computer, it says reset on Odin. And then you'll have this little status bar again. There was some blue lettering on top saying that it was custom or something. So and then it's done with that. And then it should start booting into it. And you see that custom emblem. I will be making another video on how to remove that. It's quite simple. It's just a couple of app installs. And then give it a little while. It will take a few minutes for it to load due to the reason that it's an entire new stock ROM. So it's kind of like if you took it out of the box and you're booted into your uh, stock ROM again. So we're not done. Let's just go ahead and uh, quickly root it. So to do that, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to copy over some files onto the phone itself. So, but first go through the setup real quick so you can at least get into the USB settings. Okay, so I just went ahead and quickly did all the defaults for it. I didn't even set up my Google account just because I'll do it later. So if you're still plugged into your computer, which you should still be, just pull down on the top menu and then go to connected as media device. And make sure it's an MTP. Make sure that's plugged in there. And then you'll see Odin says pass, so you're good to go. It took me four minutes and 30 seconds. Go ahead and close that. And then open up your, your PC and then go to your phone's internal storage and then go ahead and copy over those root files in the root de la vega sh right to your root and make sure that you remember those file names because you're going to be deleting them right after this so once they're in go ahead and minimize that and actually reboot your phone so go ahead and hold the power button and restart your phone and what's that, what that's doing is those files are actually rooting your phone at boot. So whenever it boots up, then it'll be rooted. So you have the boot screen, and you have the Samsung logo, and it's upgrading, and that's just installing the uh, super user app. And then you're back in. And just to show, super user is there in your app drawer. So not done yet one last step and then you're completely done plus a reboot you're good to go so go ahead and go make sure that it's still connected as MTP see mine got off of MTP so go ahead and select it it'll pop up on your computer alright and then it pops up in your computer navigate over to the root of your phone and then delete root files and root de la vega dot sh just go ahead and delete those two done Go ahead and minimize that. And then reboot your phone one more time. So hold power button and restart. Then okay. And then you see you have the custom uh, emblem on there. And then you have the Samsung boot screen. And now the boots are gonna be super quick. It's a super fast phone, um, but now it's not loading the entire stock ROM. And then we'll go to the app store and super user still there and that's it you are fully rooted you can unplug it and you're good to go so uh, i will be making a couple new videos on how to remove that custom emblem at the bootloader uh, i will be also uh, making another video and i'll also be making another video on how to update to the new mj7 i think it is update that verizon just pushed out recently and last but not least we can also do a dual boot with uh, safe strap and you can load ROMs and stuff like that which gives you a little bit more of a cleaner faster UI with a couple of tweaks from the uh, developer scene for the Note 3. If you, if you like this video, if you found it useful, go ahead and like and subscribe for the future videos that I will be making and leave a comment down below if you have any questions on how to do it. If I miss anything, um, just leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Alright guys.